Presentation of this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. My name is Stephen. How the hell are you? I said good evening. How the hell are you? This is my show. In case you didn't know. So sit right back and have a heart attack. Word is stroke. This is my show. So now you know. Welcome back to Morning Chat. My name is Bonnie Baychip, and I have a very special man here with me today, Stephen Banks, a real American hero. Now, I'm not going to tell you what this man did, because I want to show you. I want to show you the tape that, by chance, captured this heroic moment. Roll the tape, Keith. Hey, honey, do you really think we should let the baby play with the video camera? Stephen Banks saved a little girl from getting run over by a tractor. Now, tell us who that little girl was, Steve. <clears throat> Chelsea Clinton. In your own words, how did it happen? Uh, well, my friend Chuck was in the tractor pull, and I was mm -hmm. watching him, and then I suddenly heard this, this little girl say something like, I want cotton candy and mm -hmm. I want it now. And then the tractors were going and I, I just, you know, I just pushed her out of the way. <laughs> well, thank the good Lord she has long hair. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be flying to a certain home in Washington, D.C. to meet with a certain pair of grateful parents. <laughs> no, not that now, I know of. I would like to introduce my next guest to you, who will be appearing at the Empire Fairgrounds on the Beef Bowl stage at 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, and 10. Ladies and gentlemen, the bad boys of magic, Penn and Teller. <laughs> Penn and Teller, Stephen Banks. Andy Warhol was wrong. We got another good 25 minutes in you. No problem. Now, let me get this straight. Teller doesn't talk, does he? Oh, no, not to you, no. <laughs> well, now, don't get any blood or, uh, or uh, anything else on me. <laughs> no blood. We're out of here. Oh, tell me, bad boys, what kind of uh, magic trick will you be doing for oh, us Oh, we don't do that magic thing anymore, oh, not no. at all. What we've been doing is, is cutting ourselves with razor blades, seeing how deep we can go, then time-lapsing it, healing, and selling it to PBS. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, why don't you use little Steve in your trick, then? Okay, uh, why don't you just uh, keep your eyes on these beans? You know, if you'd been a little faster, you could have saved socks, too. And if you'd been in Dallas, Oliver Stone would be out of business. <laughs> Take two beans out of there, would you please? Yeah. Pick two good ones. Uh -huh. And give one to Teller. I put one right on my tongue here. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> just get it for me there. Thank you. You just reach in under. The bean is lost. We've lost the bean. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, Stephen, would you mind uh, cleaning all this up, please? Thank you. Well, we'll be sure to catch your act at the Beef Bowl stage. <laughs> Good seat's still available. Uh, tomorrow, uh, our guests will be J.D. Salinger and Meatloaf. And we are out. Yo, yo, crash. Crash. Can I hear a spelling call? No. 
damn phone. <laughs> hey, I, I saw you guys last year at the Cal Brand Theater. It was it was a great show. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and you brought thanks my friend lot. Pepper up and did this trick with a weasel and a, a, a railroad spike. Oh, yeah, the, the SPCA won't let us do that anymore. Oh, bastards. <laughs> no, we can get plenty. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a call. Oh, sure, go ahead. Yeah, hi. Yeah, this is uh, this is Pen calling for uh, Uma, Pen Gillette. Where'd you go? Okay, did the uh, did the package did the package get there? Okay, is it still moving? Okay, good, good. Every inch of my love. Bye bye. Here you go. I've got some tote okay. bags for you, filled okay. with goodies. Um, you two can share, can't you? Okay, I got it. Okay. Um, can I get a picture with you before you dash? Sure thing. Okay. Sure thing. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're done. We're through with you. Go away. Nice to meet you, Stephen. Oh. Goodbye, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi, Pen. I, I got the wrong bag. Sorry. Of course I wasn't going to keep it. Uh, yeah, sure, I can meet you there. No, no, I, I know where it is. I eat there all the time. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Oh, hi, Pepper. Did you see the show? Yeah. Oh, are you still mad about this? No, 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 no. It's just, uh... I was the one who heard her screaming first. Well, why didn't you grab her? Well, I would have if I hadn't been eating that churro. Hey, did you see Penn and Teller? Yes. I hate those bastards. Remember, that was just a trick. Just a trick? Have you ever been in front of thousands of people handcuffed to a live weasel, huh? And then have a railroad spike and... Whoa, cool. Hey, when'd you get this? I gotta get one of these. Oh, it's Penn's. I gotta take it back. I gotta meet him at our Wait donuts. a minute. You're gonna take it to him? Well, yeah. Well, I would just have a little fun first. No, Make Pepper, a few give... calls. Just a minute. He's got speed dialing. Check out the speed dialing. Pepper, give me the phone. There are names on this. David, Doug, S and R. S and R. Siegfried and Roy? <laughs> oh. Pepper, what do you mean? Pepper, don't. Get... Pepper, give me the phone. <laughs> Pepper. Hello? Pe Who's this? Siegfried or Roy? Pepper, give me the phone. Siggy! Pepper. Look, I know where you keep the Pumas, man. Yeah, Pepper, gonna... give me the Shh, Do not touch this. Jeez. script we read it it sucks yeah listen we wouldn't do a series with you even if you threw in tori as a door prize so are you going out with that witch tonight sabrina is not a witch she's a medium yeah but how much does she charge for a palm reading well you know uh, ten dollars for the first five minutes uh, five dollars each additional she's having a seance tonight you know contacting a lot of famous dead people she has a list you can choose from do you want to come no no i got to take this back to penn Tell him I hate him. His creepy little friend, too. Yeah, this is Ben. Where the hell are you? Turn on my phone, you schmuck. Hello? Where was I? Where were you? I was at our donuts for like two hours. Yeah, corner of Third and Lake. Oh, there's another one? Well, look, why don't you just come over here and pick it up after the show? 
1157 North Isabel, apartment 466. No, Aaron Spelling didn't call. Oh, but Uma called, and she wants you to meet her at Java the Hut at... Oops. <laughs> Sabrina contacted La Bamba. What? La Bamba. She spoke to La Bamba. You mean Richie Valen? Yeah, him. Yeah, he was right in the room. You know, he speaks very good English. Well, it's all a trick. Oh, you want proof? Look at this. I still have the La Bamba slime on my shirt. It's a guacamole. Okay, now here's the plan, Stephen. She needs five grand, okay? I can come up with four. You gotta give me another foul. For what? She wants to start her own 24-hour psychic hotline. Pepper, those people are all fakes. No, 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 no. Not Sabrina. She knew stuff about me. Weird stuff. Like wearing your sister's underpants in eighth grade? That was an emergency. <laughs> Serious. I mean, she, she knew that I was, um, that I was um, depressed and um, slightly lonely and, and a little bit diabetic. Well, that's easy. She just looked at you and probably smelled an Abba Zabba on your breath. Okay, okay. She told me that I have recurring nightmares about Ernest Borgnine. You have recurring nightmares about Ernest Borgnine? Sometimes. <laughs> well, hey, the whole reason I'm coming to you is because Sabrina specializes in rock and roll stars. Oh, oh yeah. Janice, Hendrix, Buddy Holly. Oh, and here's the beauty part. She does free demos for her investors. Oh, Pepper, she's just a, a mystical Millie Vanilli. Okay, pick someone you want to talk to. Elvis. No, he's not dead. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, Buddy Holly. You got it. I mean, she's a gold mine. You see, I mean, you and I could be the Ben and Jerry's of the psychic community. Uh, Pepper, look, go home, go into your kitchen, Pick up a frying pan and hit yourself in the head. All right, think about it, though. Uh, talk to your favorite dead rock star. Commercials on MTV, millions, millions. I mean, think about how many dead rock and rollers there are. Tons, tons. Just a rumor that somebody said John Lennon was the beetle that bled But, but, but Karen Carpenter died at 32 And if you don't eat a thing, you know that you'll die too <laughs> Just as Bobby Sands and Mahatma Gandhi, too. <laughs> hey, Mama Cass died at 31. Choked to death on a chicken sandwich in London. 
If she know the Heimlich maneuver, they could have had an authentic mama Zen the Papa's Ryu Yang. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I said Elvis Presley died at 42. And if you take drugs and eat crap, you'll die too. <laughs> Just ask Jimmy, Janice, Brian, Keith, Sid, Darby, and Jim Morrison too. <laughs> Stephen Banks died at 109. He was the greatest rock and roller of all time. Too bad nobody saw him in his prime. Hello? Uma? So, a neat place. You, uh, you play all this stuff? Yeah, I try. Uh, so, I got your phone. Oh, great. Well, thanks. And there are a few more messages. Uh, oh, good. Uma, Lou Reed, yeah. Uma, Brother Theodore, okay. and then Uma again. Thank you. Oh, hi. Come on in. Uh, Penn and Teller. Uh, this is Pepper. Pepper, you know. Nice to meet you. Penn and Teller. Hello. <laughs> oh, listen, didn't I just read today that your friends, uh, Siegfried and Roy, signed a major series deal with Aaron Spelling? <laughs> oh. Uh, Oh, well, congratulations to them. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sabrina. She's a mystic and a palm reader and a psychic. I'll bet. So how's, how's showbiz treating you, huh? I work in the spirit world. Well, if you talk to Sam Kinison, he still owes me $500. <laughs> so, are you gentlemen touring? No, we've been playing in uh, Las Vegas. You Nevada. have? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. We're at uh, Bally's. I got a great dress. You'd love it. I have, I have Dean Martin's shower head. Cool. How is it? It's hard and stingy, just the way you'd like it, Skippy. <laughs> uh, Sabrina's going to do a seance. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I you guys like to stick around and see some real magic. No, 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 no. I... Oh, come on, Sabrina. We'll show these posers. She's contacting Buddy Holly. Oh, really? <laughs> I think we got to stay around for this. <laughs> some bad vibes coming off this bit. <laughs> I need something of great value to entice the spirits to come talk to you. A record, perhaps. Mm, well, I got this, uh, this is the first 45 I ever bought. Hello, Mata, hello, Fada. Alan Sherman, cool. <laughs> no, this will not work. I need something of far greater value. Oh, well, I got this, uh, uh, Dylan 45, mono recording, uh, Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. And if you listen really careful in the background, you can hear Joan Baez burping. Wow. Is it valuable? Oh, yeah, about... 650 bucks? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Your spirit is very strong. Uh, I'll get this back, won't I? Well, that's up to Buddy. Uh, well, I'd like to get it back. We must all make sacrifices. These are the sacred gloves of the Big Bopper. <laughs> and this is the Shroud of Lubbock. I must have the record now, please. Bring it closer, 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 closer. Janice, move on over. Bring me Buddy. From Buddy to you. Oh. Let's play it. Uh, do you have one of those little nerdle things so we can go on the <laughs> Hey, Steven, this is Buddy. I wrote a song for you. Why don't you help me out on the drums, okay? I'm gonna sing a little song. I want Stephen Banks to sing along. Every day he plays those drums. Till Mr. Pfeiffer yells and Mariana comes. Stephen's friend Pepper is just the best. Uh, Stephen should have listened when he said in the head. Now, rave on, Stephen! Hey, Steve, can I, uh, 
Uh, yeah, could you uh, transfer me uh, backstage to Legends in Concert? Yeah, please. Is your speakerphone working? Yeah. I think you all want to hear this. Legends in Concert, may I help you? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Penn of Penn and Teller. Uh, I want to talk to one of the performers there. Who do you want? Marilyn, Elvis, Bobby Darren. Got a new Freddie Mercury that'll knock your socks off. I'm sure. Uh, how about uh, Buddy Holly? Is Buddy Holly there? Sorry, he's on stage right now doing Satchmo. Uh, yeah, well, I'm calling for uh, Sabrina. Oh, the uh, psychic. I love her. Yeah, I need, a, I need another uh, Buddy Holly thing for the Buddy Holly geek. I know. Simple, so even a bonehead can play along. That's right. And also, uh, can you give me a Hendrix... Uh, Hendrix Elvis duet in time for Christmas. <laughs> I knew you could. Thanks. Oh, also, who else you uh, who else you got in the show now? Oh, you're adding them in. You got someone playing the Zappa rule yet? Oh, I know, great guy. Yeah, perfect, perfect Zappa. Oh yeah, I'll send you a uh, picture and a tape next week. Okay, thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen from Las Vegas, Nevada, Legends and Concert, proud to present from the Spirit World, Bob. Marley, man! <laughs> I guess it's the Shroud of Kingston, huh, man? <laughs> oh, no woman, no cry. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Hey, don't think twice. It's all right. <laughs> no <laughs> Wait! Excuse me. I would like my autographed ABBA album back. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Just doing our skeptical duty, citizen. <laughs> Hi, Lupe. He said, Bob, did you want? Oh, cool, thanks. Hey, Penn and Teller. I know you guys. You do that thing with the cucarachas and it's sticking the knife in the hay and hanging upside down, huh? That's us. How you doing? Oh, fantastic. But listen, I gotta go. Uh, Aviento a todos. Hi, Lupe. All feet are the same. What do you got there, Steven? New keyboard. Well, let's uh, kick out the jam. So, where do you guys get these cool suits? We get them all at, uh, at thrift shops. Previously oh, really? worn, yeah. Well, that means you're wearing them... What the day, Stephen, check out his tie. I wear the clothes. He wears the clothes of the day. I wear the clothes. He wears the clothes of the day. I wear the clothes. He wears the clothes of the day. I speed ball like we're a phoenix in the clothes of the dead. Well, you see if bad come on, carries a curse. Chill it out, mama. I dropped in the first to see how this cousin Henry is. Uh -huh. And this is Uncle Fred. Tell me. My whole bitch and what up is a cross. Uh, 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 But I'm copping your suit. I wear the clothes. Yeah, you wear the clothes of the day. I wear the clothes. Yes, you wear the clothes of the day. I wear the clothes. Yeah, you wear the clothes of the day. On the step, step,
Presentation of this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you.